Welcome back guys to another video. So if you've been doing the Ada one bounties, which you need the annual pass in order to get access to at random intervals, totally random, you will be getting a rare bounty. Now these rare bounties have no specific way of dropping. You simply have to do the bounties that Ada gives you. Then at some point, much like the destiny one exotic bounties, they would randomly drop after completion and you pretty much get another chance at a powerful loot. Now there are eight in total that can possibly drop and some are easier than the others. So I thought I'd go through each and every bounty and therefore you can see what's to come and how to complete them. Let's start with the Black Armory Devotee. Defeat enemies with one Black Armory weapon equipped. Now this is the actual forge weapon that you create not the standard ones that you get from the saboteurs. This is an actual forge weapon that you craft. So the heavy machine gun like the Hammerhead and Kindle Door Kid, stuff like this. You need to defeat 200 enemies in order to complete this bounty. This is pretty much one of the easiest bounties you can do. Moving on, you got the Black Armory Regalia. Defeat enemies or other guardians while equipping a full set of Black Armory weapons and armor. You need to defeat 100 enemies. So this is pretty simple. However, what makes this difficult right now is the fact that most people don't have access to a full set of armor. I've only got two pieces right now and I've been doing it weekly, though I have the full weapon set now for kinetic, special and heavy, I don't have the full armor set. So though this will be the easiest one going forward eventually, right now it's a bit more of a problem. Next up we have the energy proficiency rare bounty. Defeat enemies with arc, solar and void energy while participating in the ignition of a lost forge. For this one you pretty much need to get 150 solar, arc and void kills. There is no specific weapon type that you need to use, there is no specific forge weapon that you need to use, it's simply just getting them. Supers would count for this as well. Of course, that is 450 kills, and though it's not much in the grand scheme of things, it is a bit more grindier than the others. Next up we have the macro field evaluation, and this one is pretty much the grindiest one of them all. Anywhere in the solar system, complete all of the listed activities with at least one black armory weapon equipped, most likely the hammerhead. The objectives read, you need to complete six patrols or adventures, eight public events, they don't need to be heroic, three strikes, three crucible matches, and one heroic adventure completed. That's pretty much what you need to do for this, and honestly, this is the grindiest one of them all in my opinion. Well, no, there is another one that may be grindier, maybe on the same level, but this one is probably one of the worst ones there. Next we have Might of the Armory. Complete the Last Wish raid, the Scourge of the Past raid, or the Shattered Throne dungeon with at least four pieces of Black Armory gear equipped. This is pretty easy because it's kinetic weak this week. You can pretty much have the left side full Black Armory and one armor piece which you should have by now. With that, again, this is pretty much simple stuff. Of course, if you don't do the raid, then this bounty is pretty much dead for you and you might as well break it. Supercharged, throw batteries at the forge to successfully charge it. You need to throw 50 batteries or so people thought. That is not the case for this bounty. You need to charge the forge 50 times, which means you need to complete it 25 times. Every forge encounter is two charges. So you pretty much have to complete this 25 times in full in order to actually complete this challenge. It's pretty grindy, it's almost as grindy as the one I mentioned earlier. This is the one I was referring to, it's pretty dark. However, at least with this one, if you're going for additional frames to try and get that god roll, you're always working towards this as well, so it's a little better, which is why I said it's almost as grindy as the other one, but it's not. Next we have the Bountiful Bounties. This one again is pretty simple, complete daily and weekly black armory bounties. For this the objective reads complete 12 daily bounties and one weekly bounty completed. This can also be done in conjunction with the weekly bounty that you need to complete 7 bounties in order to complete. So you can do this at the same time and essentially kill 2 birds in 1 stone. And finally we have totally charged, complete forge ignitions at maximum charge capacity. This means you need to complete all 3 rounds 6 times. You need to complete the forge at completely six times. And that's all there is. That is all eight bounties in full 
for you and now you should be in a better place in understanding what each one requires you to do. Hope you found this useful. Let me know in the comment section below what you think of the bounties, what you think of the challenges that Bungie set, the fact that we get these rare bounties akin to Destiny 1 exotic bounties. I think they're really cool. They're an additional powerful engram. And with everyone now getting closer and closer to that 650 power level, all of these will become more and more easier as we go along and will enable us to get more and more loot and more and more armor sets and more and more roles that we are actually looking for. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy that Bungie implemented something like this. The 25 Forges is a bit weird, but I'll leave that to Bungie's hat thinking. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I look forward to your comments below. Above all else, keep adventuring, keep on rocking, and remain